Look at that boy, the young Kostlix. Oh, he's got to do the monitor tech. I'm expecting, I'm waiting for the day that Kostlix busts out the uh, measuring tape to get the optimum distance. I don't think he'll ever do that. You don't think so? I don't think he'll ever do that. I don't, know if, I don't know if he should or not. He should go to an optometrist and find the optimum focal length for his eyes so that he can measure the proper distance between him and the monitor. And then every single time, he'll have it perfectly set up. Yeah? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Kostlix might have an arguably better matchup than some other people just because he's playing that, that Scarlet. He's got that land, so he's inherently not going to go up against Sandstorm's kind of prominent main of that Mordex. All right, button checks have been done. Of course, that's the Zul that we were expecting to come out yep. from Sandstorm to go up against Kostlix for game one on Small Brawl Haven. Now, last time Kostlix was on this mat, Boomy was saying this is super good for Lance. Yeah, and I agree with him. Absolutely. But Ethan was able to overcome the matchup deficit and the map deficit mm. to send Kostlix in. Wait, oh, we're in the winner's bracket. Yeah, we're bro. in the winner's bracket. <laughs> I forgot Send him into win the that. winner's bracket. Uh, yeah. Further into the winner's for bracket. For some reason, I Ethan won that. Oof! Zero to death, my boy. Sandstorm has Holy. not been touched Holy. already. Wait. Are you sure? No. I don't know. We need a. I don't think so. We need one of those color swatches. Yeah. Someone hop over to Home I Depot. I think he was touched. Know. I don't know if he got hit with a weapon. Looking untouched right now, though. Weapon or anything. And as you're saying, this map fantastic for Kostlix when he's got the Lance matchup, but it's also really good for Sandstorm with the cannon matchup. He can yeah. zero to death so easily on this map. We already saw that happen at the beginning of this game, and we're already seeing him add up more damage onto oh. Kostlix's second stock. It seems like both of them have to hit like one less move, and yeah. they're, I'm going to carry you off the, the screen string. Holy cow. Woo. Sandstorm on the cusp of a three stock, looking so incredibly healthy. This is small Pearl Haven, though. Very close kill boxes, so there is that potential of Kostlix getting the stock early. He's going to go for the slide charge neutral signature. Interesting. Usually he'll go for the down signature there. That killed. Okay. I was signature. thinking, like, oh, maybe that might not kill. Small Brawl Haven, high strength characters. Going to kill a little bit earlier. Dare, Dare getting, getting the ground pound. Yeah, getting the ground yeah. pound after the bounce. Interesting, interesting. So depending on how you hit that dare, usually Axe players will go for that follow-up down light off of that dare. Yep, Oh, nice that stock. That's a two stock. Easy. Sandstorm. Showing why he's the current world champion yeah. as well as has been dominating the 1v1 scene. That's a two stock for the one time. He calls himself the 1.75 time. Does he? I think so. I feel like he doesn't. He, he literally he said does, that really? phrase huh. to Foda earlier. Also, I don't think you can call it a point. Seven yeah, five. It's, that's like not that's exactly like that's three getting, quarters. Getting fourth at in two v twos. I'm not sure if that exactly counts to a point seven five, but you know. I mean, he might be able that's, to call himself that's one point five. Math. At least one point five, probably, because he wants CEO. That's the mid season. Yeah, mid season champion. And you have to add a little bit more just because of the insane streak he's been on in ones. I wonder what the recency bias on that one point seven five. So he's like the 1.75 <laughs> this week, and then yeah. a month from now, he's the 1.68. Yeah. <laughs> Goslick's doing a really good job extending this stock a lot longer than he did in game one, getting some decent damage, trading back and forth between Sandstorm. But he's in such a scary spot, being on the corner with Lance. So dangerous, neutral light will finish it off. Dude, Sticking with the so clean. Yeah, it really is. He's like slightly more damage than he was last game at this point. Uh, yeah. His downlights are so scary. He's hitting them as yeah. anti-airs. He's hitting anti-air downlights, which is wild. That's on so hard to do. Because usually you'll go for the dash jump nair or the side light for the anti-air property, but Sandstorm is hitting it just low enough. Great spot dodge to avoid the first oh nair, but the gosh. second one. Sandstorm, again, on the cusp of a three stock. Kostlix, no. he's just fighting to not get the restock yep. right now. Oh, and he read the dodge, got the oh. highlight. Oh, most of the recovery. recovery. Oh, that was so close to hitting. That probably would have been it. And Kostlix already in the red. He's still adding up more damage. All of that damage put out from Sandstorm. Still living. First response just outside of the oh. downstream, but he's just a little too low. Gonna bump his head. Three stock denied. He went for the side air instead of the recovery because I think he was worried about Kostlix doing something off stage. Like he yeah. didn't want to move himself up closer to Kostlix where he could respond with a dare or maybe even a side air would have put him. It would have put him high enough to get hit by a side air. So that's why he saved his recovery for last. If he would have done the recovery first, yeah, he would have ended easy. up making it. Yeah. But 
he would have risked taking a move. That's something that both Sandstorm and Boomy do in their off offstage engagements is they go for like just the bottom most corner yeah. of, of the maps whenever possible. They don't want to commit to those high recoveries or like hitting just the wall itself. They're, they're going to go as low as they can to get that bottom corner. That's something we saw from Thunder Reigns too, the number one Project M player who had oh. never played Brawlhalla okay. but has that platform fighter That's vocabulary. A, a good fundamental That's the thing to good have. players do, man. Yeah. They just know. Here we go, Sandstorm and Koslix going into game three. Back to Small Brawl Haven as Koslix switches it up to the Sir, Sir Roland. Going to be trading all of that strength for high defense on the Sir Roland, and he'll have a sword instead of the hammer. I feel like the defense is really kind of a moot point here because we're on Small Brawl Haven. It's also a moot point because he's yeah, just he's getting just, bopped. Like he's, he's just taking damage right now. Like if you're switching to the Roland here for defense, either don't go Brawl Haven or you're switching to Roland because of the sword or because or of maybe signature different kit. signatures you yeah. like more. Down signature, I'm not quite sure of the distance on it, but it does feel like it comes out faster than the uh, Scarlet Down signature, which is one of the reasons why you're seeing Koslex use it a whole lot more. He's throwing it out, just trying to keep Sandstorm at that down signature distance away. Going for a risky down air. Nice. It's the side side air. It's going to send Sandstorm all Ooh. the way over using a gravity cancel neutral sig on the axe, which is normally, if you're playing that on the stage, mm -hmm. Very punishable signature, but he used it to recover back to the wall, kind of like you would with a Thor orb neutral sim. It does have quite a high jump. Usually you'll see it as a jump read punish. And this is the first time Cossacks has had the lead over Sandstorm. He gets the first stock. The rolling switch working out for him. Just standing still, yeah. waiting for Cossacks to get near that weapon, immediately picking up the axe. This is very Sandstorm. So yeah, he just. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear that? Someone called it out like a Pokemon. This Pokemon trainer's, trainer's here. Bouncing! And then a not came out. here. He yeah. traded the Pokemon. Stocks evened up. Who was he calling it out for? I don't remember. It was probably an EU player, right? It was probably like Agzo, maybe. I don't know. I don't either. I can't remember. Two weeks is a long time for me to remember things, unfortunately. Downlight, down air. Missed the ground pound. Dash, dash dancing on the stage. Sandstorm switching out the cannons, but Koslix, he's doing so much better getting that spacing onto Sandstorm, the down air. Can he finish the stock? No, doesn't hit the down air. Great dodge through to avoid that ground pound from Sandstorm. Extended off stage engagement, finally eats the ground pound. Gets the recovery, he has the chase dodge. Ooh, just immediately down air. This is gonna he's be charging punished. It up. Just a down air punish, not the worst punish in the world. Primes the next weapon, finishes the stock of Koslix, but Koslix is definitely looking better here in game number three. Not down too much recovery. separating between these two. Somehow that didn't kill. That's going to be the lower enough. strength of Sir Roland. The D-Light nice. Recovery is going to have enough strength behind it to take Koslix off of the top. Or sorry, Sandstorm, Sandstorm off, the top. off the top. And we're going to be dead even. But Sandstorm is up two games. Down light dare into the sand. Oh! Second sand. Doesn't finish. Needs to get another Sandstorm dodges through the Sair. Going for it again. Sandstorm goes low this time. Tries to punish from behind with that turnaround side air. Kossix goes off stage. Down air. Oh my gosh. And Kossix with the off stage lance takes a game off of Sandstorm. I don't know if it's just Kossix or if it's because he's against Sandstorm. It seems like <laughs> yeah, everyone is against that. Sandstorm this land. They're, they're tired of watching him win. They're tired of the tyranny of Sandstorm like taking tournament much. after tournament in singles and doubles. Or it's because this is his home turf. Koslix has not lost in Texas. Well, it's not really his home I turf. Know, it's just, super not because he's from Canada. He's but. not even from this country. <laughs> I'm just saying he's been very proud of the fact that he has not lost in Texas. Yeah, he's, he's said that many times. Probably every engagement that I've had with Koslix this weekend. I think that's just the only thing he's said to you. Really? No, he's said a couple other things, but mostly it's dominated by that. And he's going to keep saying it, he said, until he loses. Switching over to the Lance. No surprises, Koslix's weapon of choice. Interesting option there. I think he was aiming for the left side, but he gets hard punished for the whiff down sig. Nice down sig. Launches Sandstorm. Needs to finish the stock, but Sandstorm a little too high for that one. That's something where the Scarlet down sig would have connected. Yeah, longer active frames. And also it has a more oh, oh yeah, it's got that like kind of as well. puff on the top. 
Just above the down signature. Goes for a down signature of his own. Dodge through. Punish. Into the finish. Sandstorm takes the first stock. Always be careful when you're covering back on Shipwreck because if, you're, if your hurtbox peeks right yep. over that corner, you got to be so laser precise with where you recover on that wall. This is one of those maps where you really got to be critical about hitting that bottom corner, like we were talking about from Sandstorm. But he has denied his weapon, but he's already adding up so much damage, almost lapping Koslix on his second stock. What's the edge guard? Goes for the side air. Sandstorm able to dodge through. Side and he actually yeah, waited. delayed it. Oh, the weapon Off was the still bounce, active. Yeah. He bounced past that, Tim. Just barely. Was able to interrupt Koslix. He was going for some pressure stuff. Neutral airs now from Sandstorm. Primes the next weapon. He'll be able to get back with these side airs from the cannon. So with Shipwreck the being the pick, this Ooh. is a map where that defense will help Koslix out a lot. Yeah. But Sandstorm's good on Shipwreck. Like, that was the thing yesterday in twos was kind of like, stop, yeah. stop going Shipwreck. Eventually, they did win and out, but... Man, those early games on Shipwreck were rough. They won like four of the five games on Shipwreck, and Sandstorm showing why. He's just really good at controlling all of this flat space. Doesn't have to worry about you retreating to oh. some sort of soft platform. There's the down air. Has the corner Almost control. got another one. Would have extended that edge guard further. Side air to finish the first stock of Sandstorm. But he is behind. Yeah, this is going to be a tough hill to climb. Nice read. Sandstorm's nares are so scary. Yeah. So, so, so scary. D-Light Nair. He's, he is one of the best people at hitting just dash jump nares so consistently with cannon. That just turned Kosselix red. Still going to take like a signature. Yeah, for any one, one move to boxes. kill at this point. Ooh. Got one Nair. All right, Sandstorm coming back. Yes. Kosselix has Sandstorm in the red. With that side air. From the high That's strength it. zone. That's a 3-1. Yeah. That's Sandstorm, the top six. Quick finish from Sandstorm. He's going to be going on into Sunday to yeah, he's the done. winner. Yeah, he's done for the day. Mm -hmm. Nice and early for him.